Hello everyone and welcome to John Eastwood, um, the courier with, uh, Going to the Wrangler tonight. you know, nah, I'm gonna chill with, my girl. with a handful of addictions and, you know, some, some adventures to be had. Um, so, um, we're befriending the kings as, as it is right now, um, in hopes that they'll make peace with uh, the NCR, uh, which I guess me and my, my buddy Boone here are aligned with, uh, for better or worse, right, buddy? Um, but, uh, yep. Um, let's go ask about the uh, about what's going on. This place looks like like hell. Um, what's going on, buddy? What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? The king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Yeah. Well, what can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. Yeah. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. Uh oh. From out of nowhere. These big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then okay. all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. Well, do you remember anything about the people that attacked you? They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at him. Well, I gotta get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Okay. It's okay. The king sent him. Hey, Wayne. That true? Did the king really send you? He did, and uh, anything you could tell me about what happened might help. The king. I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Well, I tell you what, every bit helps. Um... Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, hmm. but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. All right, oh, that's not good. That's not good, they heard a uh, Lieutenant. Hey. Yep. That prick. Well, that's not good. You see, if uh, they heard Lieutenant, then that, that sounds a lot like uh, our NCR We've got stuff. We're not people. Even to sit. And uh, that's, uh, that's just no bueno. No bueno, Mr. King, sir. Um, real quick, guys, I'm going to uh, pause and check audio. Uh, give me one second. I, it sounds all right, it does. Um... I will have to grab a beer here in a minute, but uh, that's that's beside the point, really. What's up, uh, King? Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? The local men were attacked by soldiers. One of them was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Yep. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. All right. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. <laughs> okay. Well. We'll head over there. Yep. We'll go talk to Julie. I feel like that's our best bet. 
We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. We don't know Julie, but we feel like it's our best bet. At least it's somebody that we kind of know that knows something, so. Hold on now. That's a real ghoul cow. It's a cowgirl. Howdy. Uh. So who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked, who I could chat up about liquor, got transferred. And the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Well, uh, I bet you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Uh, well, it sounds like, uh, sounds like you're a bit of a dom, uh, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Fair enough. Uh... Are you interested in working for the Garretts? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? Uh, this would be as a as an escort. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. When I say escort, I mean prostitute. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a cool besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Turns out there are some customers looking for someone just like you. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. You'd be independent, with a deep discount on the booze, maybe? Mm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. Yes, they do. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garretts I'll stop by to work out terms. Well, okay. Bye. We recruited a, a ghoul cowboy, sort of, a girl, female. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, there's Julie. You can tell by her distinctive mohawk. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Uh, you need medical supplies, I take it? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Uh, hang tight guys, I just heard some loud bangs, um, hold on one second. Yeah, so, uh, my, I guess the cat knocked over my skateboard, which knocked over a chair, it was just a couple loud bangs, I don't know if the mic picked it up, but damn, it, I was like, what the hell? Really? Like, before Christmas, somebody's breaking into my damn house? Alright, um, yeah, you got yourself a deal there. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. It seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Well, which merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garretts, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about? Okay, uh... Well... Let's see what we can drop off. Great! What do you have? Medics. How much do you have? Three. Thanks. Anything else? Yep, that's all. Thanks for the donation. 
Yeah, we're not we're not gonna donate our rat away. We might we definitely need that shit, probably. So, um, do you know anything about NCR soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? Well, the king thinks that those troops have been attacking the locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, goodbye. Okay, well. Okay, um, it would seem that, well, things got a little bit confusing because, uh, hold on, it's time for our next beer. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. That fixes everything. Um, <laughs> it would seem that, that maybe there's more to this story. Um, so let's find out exactly what's going on. Um, uh, excuse me. Okay, never mind. Hold up. What's the password? I'm here to see Major Kieran on an urgent on urgent business. Now please let me pass. Fuck. Um, <clears throat> I'm here to see Major Kieran on urgent business. <laughs> Sorry guys, I've been drinking a lot. Um, I'm here to see Major Kieran on urgent business. Please let me pass. If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it's alright. Head on through. Damn, that was uh, difficult. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm on like my 15th, 13th, uh, 16th beer, I don't know. Here you go. I hope this helps. Wow. Squatters. Okay. There she is. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Um, do you serve food to the locals as well? Or, uh, thanks for the food. You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please, tell them about this place. Um... Yes? Was there something else you... Yeah. Do you serve food to locals? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? Yeah, but uh, I was afraid he wouldn't get served. You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Okay. Um... Yes? Was there something else you needed? Um, are you with the NCR military? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. Why don't you serve locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Okay, well, Julie Farkas told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers, but they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense now. Um, he, sh they did send someone. That makes way more sense. Uh, that seems like the way the NCR would win people over is with food and stuff. Uh, real quick, guys, uh, I need to go and uh, acquire um, another beer. So, uh, I'll be, uh, right back. And we're refilled on beer. 
full of cheer and ready to go report to the king and let him know what we know. Uh, we figured out quite a bit of information. So, what's up, brother? You find out something about them soldier boys yet? The NCR is distributing supplies in a building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Um... It seemed fairly innocent, honestly. Nothing's innocent in Freeside. You should know that by now. No, I'm guessing they're doing something they know will cause a row. Like keeping the food all to themselves. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Well, they said someone was sent to discuss this issue with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? Yeah, they said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. All right. All right. I'll see you later. All right. Well, let's go uh, figure out what the hell's going on. Guaranteed, uh, Pacer, the, uh, idiot, is, uh, doing something. The guy that tried to scam us on our way in. Whoa. Dang. Can we get through here? There we go. Damn. Hey. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Uh, the king wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know that the envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us... Perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Alright. Well, that worked out okay. Oh, a campfire. Don't mind if I do. Yep, let's make some Brahmin steaks. Health poultice. Sure. A desert salad. Yeah, let's do it. Sweet. Major gave us all a talking to. Cause she heard about some of the guys' night visions. Wow. Well, I mean, they're not gonna need it anymore, right? Um. Sucks they had to die. Sucks they had to die over, like, nothing. You. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. Well, okay. That guy's such an ass. Like, seriously. Like, what an ass. Didn't we find some 357s we can repair our 357 with? Oh, dang, we can repair with a lot of stuff. This hunting revolver. It's a big one. We might have to switch over to that at some point. Laser. All right. All 
right, so, uh, King? I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it. All right. Man. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Well, uh... All right. Woo! Yep, we need another beer. Good thing we have a shitload of beers. All right, uh, King. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? All right, uh, this building is interesting. What do you know about it? Near as I can tell, it's some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front, but everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. Yeah, fair enough. Um, is that what you guys do? Pretend to be this guy? Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too. Along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. Wow. Well, if this was a school, what was taught here? As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool. And taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Tell me more about him. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the King. Hmm. And that's where you got the name from. Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the King's House of Dog Chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. Yeah, I'd say you do, King. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Well, uh, where did you get a robot dog? I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. Is there something wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out. And they said his brain is bad or something. Can they do anything? No. They said they don't have the tools to help him. Is he going to be okay? For now. But they said eventually he's going to get worse. I don't know what to do. Can I help you? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort. Oh, Julie Farkas again. Alright. Well, I need you to stop the violence against the uh, NCR, by the way. That's kind of why I'm here. Whoa, that's a doozy. Truth be told, I don't even know if I can pull something like that off. Well, the kings will follow your leadership. Damn straight they will. It's some of the other locals that I'm worried about. On second thought, if I can whip this band of hooligans into obedience, a stray tough guy or two shouldn't be a problem. Nope. Okay, you've got a deal. No more violence against the NCR on my watch. But this makes us even, you hear? Alright. So, uh... Cool. We took care of that. Um... All right. Things have been a lot oh, better. Oops. Um... So we can return to the ambassador and let him know that the kings are okay. They're good people. So, uh, yeah. Very good. Very good, guys. Um, yep, I don't think there's a, actually a place we could fast travel to, um, but what time is it? 8.30? All right. Yep. Let's uh, let's head this way. 
Um, By the way, um, you were going to talk to in a second. I agree. Um, how you doing, old Ben? Uh, you're a suave guy. Hello again. Um, what's your story again? I've done a bit of everything around here, some of which I'm not proud. Well. Never mind, I thought maybe we could talk to him about uh, being a prostitute, but never mind. Here's Lady Jane. Lady Jane. Hello. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Um, I was hired by the Garretts to track you down. In that case, <coughs> I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? Jane, I can tell you're lying through your teeth right now. Damn. I didn't want to hand over all of my caps because I won't have enough to get home to California. Here, take it off. I'll find my way home one way or another. Well, all right. Okay, well, we got her caps. Um, fair enough. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna knock out some missions here and there in Freeside. Uh, you know, John's pretty used to the wasteland. He loves Vegas. Who wouldn't? I mean, look at the lights. It's wonderful at night. Um, but, uh, you know, John's a bit of a, you know, he's rough around the edges, to say the least. So he kind of enjoys Freeside. I don't know if the ambassador... Parade's looking good, soldier. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're, I don't even know if the ambassador will still be uh, working right now. No, it looks like he isn't. Where is he? Well, shoot. I mean, it's 940 in the, in the, at night. Um, I'm not surprised he's not here. Evening. Well, there's a hotel. We'll just stay here for the night. And then we'll go talk to him in the morning. Uh, hello, Sarah. What's your name? Sarah, hello. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Okay. Welcome to the finest bald hotel in the whole world. Well, uh, what kinds of things do you sell in this gift shop? I have all sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Vault gear. Uh, swell, show me what you got. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, I got these great lunch boxes. They're super. What else? Oh, oh, look at these toasters. You like toast, right? If they're crunchy, even better. What about a vintage Vault Tech toy car? Or... Uh, do you actually have any vault gear? Okay, I do, but who wants a lame sensor module or a nitrogen canister anyway? All the popular stuff has been sold, especially the vault suits. I need to find more because people buy them like hotcakes. Leather suits are good times. Thinking about that just blows my top. Well, you know, leather is my specialty. Unzip it, heat it, and rub a shine into it. Really? Well, I don't even know what to say to that. Just don't say here now. Um, I don't want to get the patrons all riled up now, do we? Ha ha ha. Okay, why don't you help me out? And in the meantime, I'll think about where to take advantage of your skills. Well, you can count on it. Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. Alright, uh, so I guess we'll find those vault suits. 
Um, Boone, do you have some of our vault suits? By the way, do we have any on Fine you? By me. Yeah, we do. Two of them. Okay. Good to see you again. Yeah. Um, I have some vault gear. You do? That's wonderful. Let me see what you brought. All right. That's gonna net you lots of caps, my friend. Do you want to trade all your vault suits right now? Yeah, I would like that. Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. Cool. All right. Good to see you again. Yeah, uh, I need a room. All right, we have an available room for you. That'll be just 20 caps. Sarah, I plan on staying here often. You got a special price for a special client? Well, sure. You seem pretty special. But that'll be our secret, okay? Yep, here you go. Ten caps. Go all the way down to the vault's main game room. Take the hallway to your left, and then the first room on the left-hand side. Enjoy your stay. Yep. Okay. All right, so we're staying in a in a vault hotel, which is rather interesting. Usually, um, as far as John knows, if you're ever in a vault, it's usually uh, infested with something. But this is infested with people having fun, so that's kind of neat. Uh, where the hell is our room? Interesting. Okay. Have a nice little stay there. Um, let's get out of here though. Actually, we need a beer. Don't we? Yep. Gotta feed that addiction, John. Gotta feed that addiction. Hey. Alright, hey, uh. Let's get over here to Ambassador Crocker and let him know that we've uh, sorted things out with the Kings for now. I'm sure he'll be. Very pleased to hear that. Um, where where is he? Um, um. Where, where the heck is he? Hello. I'm, 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 oh, here he is. Sir, I'm sorry to wake you. Ah, hello. I trust you have but, something to report. Damn, I've tried to talk to you for days. Or two days. Hmm. I want to talk to you about the situation in Freeside. Yes? Do you have something to report? Yep. I spoke to the king, and he promised to stop the violence against NCR citizens. That's great to hear. He's got a lot of sway in Freeside, so we can expect a dramatic drop in violence soon. Now, you're probably wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot-button topic, so I was able to secure this for you. Uh, okay. Well, um, keep me in mind for any future assignments, I guess. I've received oh, shit, I skipped it. Up at Hoover Dam. She's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her. You're not officially in the employ of the NCR, so there's nothing forcing you to go. But I'd go see her sooner rather than later. Yeah. The colonel is not someone you want to keep waiting. Yeah, well... To be honest, um,
We just don't really care that much about seeing them right now. Um, all right, what do we got perk-wise? What do we pick up? Walker Instinct. Fly outside. Oh, wow. We're going to take that. Yeah, all the creatures we kill have a chance to drop some food. So, interesting. Okay, well, it looks like we're done with the NCR here. Um, as far as this goes. So, um, we're, uh gonna shift gears and uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, go talk to Julie Farkas about this hound dog for the king uh, we're gonna yeah like I said we're gonna take a break from the NCR for a minute um, and we're gonna fill out the rest of uh, what's going on with uh, around here um, I'm not rushing to the end game by any means. We go We're gonna enjoy it, like this guy here is enjoying his self. Um, yep. Uh, but anyway, um, I may go ahead actually and uh, in this episode uh, here in just a minute because it just seems like a good stopping place but we're gonna go and see if we can turn in some of this stuff with the Garrett's and talk to them about uh, the stuff with the followers and then we'll see if we can Come stay there again hmm All right. Um, what's up, James? I hear the Legion is camping out across the river. I hope they're not planning to attack. Those bloodthirsty mole rats are never up to any good. Well, the followers need to find someone to trade for supplies, by the way. Really, now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but it would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Hmm. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, hmm. the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Yeah, well, uh, I might be able to work something out. Good. We can supply them with all the medex they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. Well, damn. Um, by the way, I, uh, I found you an escort who's a ghoul and a cowboy. Imagine that. What's his name and when's he start? Uh, her name's Beatrix and she can start immediately. Is she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. Yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, how's business? We ain't scraping to get by, that's what you're asking. All right. Well, later. Yeah, let's uh let's check out our room. Oh, Beatrix. There she is. Interesting. Um let's talk to Francine too cuz we uh people are getting nervous about the legion amassing on the other side of the river. I hope the NCR can hold against another attack. 
Yep. Um. Hmm. I could lie and just give her 600 caps and say I got all the debts. Wow. Interesting. Um, I need a room. Just a few. Here you go. Up the steps, last room on the left. If you leave the Wrangler, we'll assume you're checking out. Okay. I'm looking for a little R and R too. Rooms are just a few caps a night. Your choice of company is extra, assuming anyone's taken a liking to you. Okay. All right. Well, goodbye. Later. You know what? <clears throat> you know Beatrix. Uh, just out of curiosity, I know you just started here. I do. I have a lot of pull. Um, let's have a beer. Let's have two beers. We're hammered. Um, Beatrix. Howdy. You in the market? I'm a, I'm a, I'm in the market for something unusual. I'm available, sweetie. But you'll have to do as I say. Uh, that sounds good to me. Meet me upstairs. I'll try to leave you in one piece. All right. Another NCR grunt. Sweet. You know, John's into uh, all kinds of interesting stuff. He's a bit of a man whore in a lot of ways. Hello. Yeah, hello. Is it this room? Is this the room? Oh no, she's going down here. Okay. Boone, I don't, uh, you can either be a part of this, I guess, or you can watch. Um, the ring. Howdy. Okay. Um, what's it say? Oh, shoot. All right. Well, all right. Um, let's uh, let's lay down here. <laughs> Lay down for a while with Beatrice. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I had to. I had no choice. I'm now well rested. Okay. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Well. Um, we'll pick it up from here next time. We feel a little ashamed uh, about what we've done, but uh, hey, you know. What is it they say? Uh, what well, looks perfect in the moonlight by the morning rarely is. And uh, guys, this was a fun time filming this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll catch up with John Eastwood, the puss sex magnet on the next episode. Peace out.